Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout of the evening is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the Cage Aggression Amateur Women's Flyweight Division, powered by Old Town Heating and Air. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. She stands five feet, five inches tall, and weighed in at 124 pounds. She trains at Elite Boxing Academy and Fitness. Joining us from Waterloo, Iowa, Corey Noble! And her opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. She stands five feet, six inches tall, and weighed in at 124 pounds. She trains at Summit Training Center, Nyquist Roundhouse Martial Arts, and Mitt Beast Boxing and is sponsored by Yabba Dabba's House of Glass, Georgie's Bar and Grill, and Busted Barbell Fitness. Joining us from Davenport, Iowa, Claire Schnickler! Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The ladies are about ready to get on the good foot and do the bad thing. Claire Schneckloff facing off against Corey Noble. Here we go. Round one begins, touching up in the center of the cage. And this is a whole different type of no-pants dance right here. Let's see where we go. Oh, oh nice big shot, Claire. Corey walking her down here. Claire looks plenty serious now. Yep, nothing like getting punched in the face to take that smile away. Corey Noble almost has a karate-like stance, you know? It's a very reminiscent of an offensive-type Mishita. You know, Mishita likes to step back with those hands like that. She's stepping forward. And she's got a good left hook. She's been landing that on Claire. Claire's definitely improved the speed of her punches. She's parrying punches now, which is very good. Well, and you've actually held mitts for her, champ. What are you seeing that's uh, any improvements that she's made here in the opening moments of this first round? Well, just that, I mean, she's moving much better. She's moving better. She needs to bounce a little bit more. She's got that leg kick wobbled her a little bit into that right. Leg kicks there from Corey Noble finding a home there on Snecklock. Corey's doing a great job of keeping that distance, leaning in with that left, yeah. and then closing with that right when it's available. She's not going to it every single time. It's not a one-two every time. Sometimes she's leading three times with that jab. Switching stances with Noble. Claire needs to straight. That was the right hand. She needs to straighten it out like that. Again with that left, stepping in. Yes. Switching to the body. Going head body, absolutely. Inside leg kick there from Noble. One minute, 20 seconds left here in this first round. And you know, if I'm Claire, oh, oh, he's hurt. Whoa, Corey, Corey Noble. Noble. This could be a shot. Shot. Oh, oh, it's over. Corey. It's Noble. over. It's over. It's over. With an impressive first round stoppage wow. of Claire Steckloff. You know, just before that, she was leaning in with that straight so many times yeah, yeah. that Claire really needed to find a way to step to the left and counter. And instead, she got caught with that right hand after being set up with that Big left. uppercut as well. If you can see the replay in the back, guys. She got blistered with that combo. Yeah, punches and bunches. Claire was just not able to defend against all those. Impressive performance from Corey Noble without a shadow of a doubt. You know, Corey Noble came in there really composed, game plan, looked good on the feet. I'd like to see her against another striker. You know, let's let's build her up a little bit. But here it is right here, the beginning of the end, a couple of those uppercuts. And, uh, you know, basically those straight lefts set everything up. She was stepping in. She was getting comfortable. As soon as she had her wobbled, she stepped her in, into the cage, and unloaded. I mean, the jab is the key, always. Boxing, kickboxing, MMA, it doesn't matter. And Corey was firing away with them, setting up a lot of those strikes with those jabs. And again, as we talk to Claire, you know, she doesn't look at losing as any kind of failure, but just opportunities to learn. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Josh Stewart has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 48 seconds into round one, declaring your winner by TKO, Corey Noble! There's the flurry. All right, Corey, first of all, congratulations on the win, the stoppage win. Hey, it took a little air. It looked like you were uh, taking a little bit, feeling things out some. What was the game plan you had coming into tonight? 
the game plan was come here and have some fun, and I wanted it to last a little longer than it did. I promised my fans I would, I would make it last longer in the first round, but I had fun, I had fun, yes. So you had fun at least? Yes. Good. I wish it was a little longer fun. Well, hey, that was the next question. You wanted it to be a little longer. What's around the corner? Anything up next, or what are the plans? Yep, tonight we're celebrating my birthday. That's what's around the corner, so. All right, well, hey, while everyone else is here, where's the celebration going down? Ruby's. Ruby's. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we got a birthday cake. All right, well, hey, before I let you get back to it, is there anyone you want to thank, anyone you want to mention? Oh, yeah, I got so many people to thank. First, Mike Goodwin for giving me this opportunity. Claire for taking the fight. I'm so many, Coach Mark, Coach Johnny, I got Coach Jerry, Coach James, Big T, who I was out of training for more than a year and he got me back into it. So, so many people, my family and friends here supporting me out there. You can hear them. Everyone back home who ordered this on pay-per-view, I appreciate it. All right, well, hey, once again, congratulations on the win. Happy birthday. And let's hear it one more time, birthday loud, for your winner tonight, Corey Noble.